Bond stuntman and SAS hero is killed in an abseil race after plunging 300 feet from a helicopter in China. A James Bond stuntman and former SAS hero has been killed after falling 300 feet from a helicopter in an abseil race. Steve Truglia, from East London, died on Thursday after the abseil stunt in Chongqing, southwest China, went wrong. The 54-year-old, who once described being a stuntman as the best job in the world, won awards in parachuting and mountaineering and held the world record for the fastest 100 meters abseil. He also appeared in James Bond movies Tomorrow Never Dies and The World Is Not Enough, as well as Hollywood classics such as Saving Private Ryan. Friends said Mr. Truglia and another stuntman were meant to be abseiling from the helicopter at the same time. Hours before his death, he had raised concerns it might not be big enough to take their combined weight, according to The Sun. On his Facebook page he revealed how the race had been delayed due to adverse weather conditions. Mr. Truglia, who served in the SAS and SBS for 20 years from 1980 to 2000, wrote, I'm out here, in China, doing a big aerial stunt, when the weather breaks. His former military colleague, Phil Tonicliffe, said, we have not been able to find out much about what happened. He had meant to be attempting the stunt on Tuesday above the Wulong National Park but it had been put off until Thursday because of heavy mist and fog. All we have been told is that there was a fall, but that does not make sense to us. Steve was a professional stuntman and had done these types of abseils many times. He was meant to be racing from a Chinese stuntman dropping from the opposite side of the helicopter at the same time. He was worried it might not be big enough to take the weight of two people. He added, it was 34 years ago we were at Raf Bryes Norton doing our basic military parachute course. When I heard the news I phoned him and left him a message, it was something I just felt to do, I also sent him a text. In the message which he wrote on Facebook, he said, I can't believe you are gone mate, a part of me just died. You were my best friend and brother for 36 years. It hasn't sunk in that I'll never see you again. One thing is certain I'll treasure the memories and never forget you.